the building. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> We're looking at Fudge's bald head. That's Fudgy Boy. That's Fudgy Boy. Do you know what the Third Amendment is? Like I said, so, per, per supervisor, you and your friend are going to jail for resisting an officer and for trespass after warning. Come on, bro. It's, it's coming from above me. Can I, can I talk to him? Can I talk to him? Please, don't take me to jail, bro. Please, I am begging you. Like a dog. Uh, and so, damn, you're a big guy. How tall are you, bro? Eight, nine? What? In the world? This guy was at least at 10, 11 pounder at birth. This guy was 11 pounds at birth for sure. Sir? Sir, I'm gonna ask you a quick, a quick question. Please don't eat me. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff White, a moron. I want to welcome you back to the channel or welcome you for the first time. However you made it here, I do appreciate it. Keep helping my channel grow by subscribing, sharing my videos, taking that there like button, like it, dislike it, poke it with a stick. Whatever tickles your fancy. Today we're looking at this guy. It goes by the name of DMA or Denver Metro Audits. Today he's using his cell phone not to stick in people's faces to make unwanted moving pictures. But to call the Charlestown, West Virginia City Hall and Police Department to stick up for his boy, I think it's a boy, goes by the name of Butterfly Boy. I covered this dude in my second video, and who we he's got a screw loose. But anyway, DMA is going to call, sticking up for his boy. He's going to lie to his audience. He's going to lie like a dog on a rug. Anyway. What do you say we round us up some frauditors? Before we start listening to DMA, let's take a quick flashback and look at a little bit of Butterfly Boy that I covered in my second video. Let's go back down memory lane. But I'm with the free press, so I'm just doing Butterfly Boys. Okay, that's just about enough of that guy that I can take. Anyway, let's skip ahead. Let's watch DMA start dialing that phone and not getting quite the reaction he's open for. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm actually just doing a quick uh, phone call. Uh, I saw a very disturbing video that many of you guys saw. Well, I can't say I disagree. Watching that troubled young man walking around flapping those wings like he's a damn butterfly. Ooh. From Tu Apri, he's uh, that comedian, and obviously he watches audits and stuff like that. And I think like the last like five videos that he's done on his channel have been audits. So it's great because he already has a, an audience and so now he can start doing this stuff and he's bringing comedy into it. I love his channel, so. Wait, are you telling me he's doing comedy? You gotta be kidding me, that's not comedy. My Lord, now that makes that video twice as disturbing. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, make sure you head on over there, subscribe. I'll leave the link to his, uh, his channel in the description. But this latest video that I saw that also that Leroy Truth Investigations uh, did a show on was extremely disturbing. He went to Charlestown City Hall and he got kicked out of there. Violently, physically removed. And Officer Noble is a straight tyrant. You could just tell by the look on her face, her demeanor, the way she was speaking to him right out the gate, aggressive immediately. Uh, so she's a disgrace. And then we had a Lieutenant, he's a Lieutenant Manning, who's the same way, who says, uh, I'm tired of hearing about First Amendment. That's all I hear, First Amendment. I'm tired about the First Amendment. I, I, that's all we you're, hear. You're First tired Amendment. about rights? Look here. I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but even I know that fellow's not talking about hating the First Amendment. He's talking about people like you who don't understand the First Amendment. Man, it's like, this is what your job is, to uphold the Constitution. That's your main job. So, I mean, they're really supposed to disobey unconstitutional laws, but of course they will never do that because then they won't have a job. So, 
it's impossible and people say, oh, well, not all cops are bad. Yes, all cops are bad. There's no such thing as a good cop. And the reason is because of these unconstitutional laws. They have to enforce the unconstitutional laws or they won't have a job. So it doesn't give them much credibility when they swear an oath of the constitution and then they're out there taking it, getting paid to just violate people's individual rights. Well, I guess you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed neither. Listen, if you're worried about unconstitutional laws, you best bring that up with your local legislature, your local government. Not with the police. What the hell's wrong with you, boy? Um, and of course, they, they chose to violate somebody's rights here, but there are a lot of unconstitutional laws that they just have to enforce. So no, there's no such thing as a good cop. They're not all, got, all cops are bad people. As individuals, they could be fine gentlemen and fine women, but the actual job of being a police officer in itself makes them bad. Okay, so with that said, let's get to it. I just wanted to call, first let's call City Hall and then we'll call the PD to see how it goes. For all other calls, please press zero. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Should just put a zero in the beginning, but you never know. Sometimes it <clears throat> makes you start over. <clears throat> Charlestown City Hall, this is Megan. How can I help you? Hi, Megan. Hey, I am actually uh, going to be doing some traveling. I'm not from uh, West Virginia, but I wanted to come over there and check out your city hall. Um, and I was wondering if, you know, if I bring my camera to document my own interaction, I was just wondering, are you guys going to call the police on me or have me removed from the building? I mean, is that like your policy to get, just call the police on free Americans? Just was wondering what's going on with that. So as long as you maintain in the public areas, you'll be fine. Okay, because I mean, I saw a video um, of Tua Pri where he was in the public areas and he, and he still as had the long cops as called. If you stay within the public <clears throat> area, you'll be fine. Okay, great. So, how come you guys called the cops on the other guy who was in the public areas? I'm not going to answer you. Come on, son. Come on, son. He was not in the public areas. Go back and watch your videos again. I'm telling you, you can come as long as you stay in the public area. Okay, so you guys learn your lesson then to not call the police on free Americans? Sir, I hope you have a good day, and have, actually, I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> I hope you have the day you deserve. <clears throat> that was Megan, guys, so <clears throat> you can still hear the disdain. <clears throat> they got an education. They know that they messed up and that he wasn't breaking the law. He wasn't doing anything wrong, but they hate it. So that's the thing. A lot of times these officers and these public officials, they know the law. They just hate it, right? I've dealt with that a lot of times. They, they wish they could just throw you in a cage and arrest you, but like they can't. They're bound to the law just like everyone else. So, so you can see they're, they're a disgrace over there. They hate freedom. It's, I just, I don't understand why so many people just hate freedom. It's crazy. Who in the hell hates freedom? You think everybody in this country just can't wait to get over to North Korea, live the good life. What the hell's wrong with you? So let's call the police department now. Hi, this is Sergeant Mount Charlestown Police. Hi. Hello? Uh, sorry, you're you're cutting out. Um, who am I speaking with? Sergeant Knotts with Charlestown Police. Returning your call. Knotts, you said. That's correct. Okay. Can I get your badge number? Well, my unit number is my unit number is one zero four. Okay, one zero four. Okay. Yeah, I was. Uh, I just wanted to call because um, I was planning on taking a trip over there to West Virginia and I wanted to check out your town over there in Charlestown. I just wanted to make sure that if I, you know, decided that I want to go into City Hall that I'm not going to be violently uh, removed from the building and then arrested and locked in a cage. I just wanted to make sure that I still have the freedom that in the United States to uh, record uh, public officials in the course of their duties. Okay, so he just hung up on me, guys. No, he's calling back. Let's see what happened. Hello? Hello, it looks like we got disconnected. Are you okay, there? yeah. Did you hear anything of what I said? Yeah, you were wanting to know about going, into, if you went to City Hall or some other, other place, if you would uh, be in trouble for that. I guess it would depend on how you act. Well, 
what if I just did the same thing that uh, Tua Pri did and I just went in peaceful, peacefully and just documented my interactions and, you know, was part, part of the free press? You're basing, you're basing your, or I guess his interaction on short video clips. So, again, if you go in, if you go to any place at all, in, in any Oh, okay. So, um, do you have an actual question, or are you just? Yeah, I just to... I was just very disturbed by the video, um, and your officer Noble okay. there. We are, we are actually, everybody's disturbed over the video because of the fact that it's been it's been cropped and cut and, and photoshopped or however you want to call it. Um, you know, it's, well, it's the really parts that are in the video are 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 pretty clear that he was uh, I mean, physically there's removed. There's physically removed. I'm I mean, not gonna, I'm not going to debate it with you, sir. Um, it's an active investigation. Um, again, if you, if you go anywhere in the United States to visit and you act like, you know, a like civil human being, you'll be treated accordingly. Okay. If you violate laws and you, it's yeah, a different story depending right. on what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So just one last thing before you go. Um, uh, officer. You know, you have a good day, sir. Oh, you're going to hang up? I wasn't done. I saw another question. You have another oh. question? Yeah. So you're saying um, that if you if you act like a civil human being, you'd be treated with respect and you're fine. So when Officer Noble and Lieutenant Manning walked in, immediately they were rude and disrespectful and escalated the situation right out and the there gate. Talking, and there you're talking about a, a clip that's been cut. Well, the, the clips that I'm watching are clear as day. So regardless if he cut other parts of it out, as soon as he as Officer well, Noble and Officer Manning came in... Five or ten minutes off of it, wouldn't that be, be a difference? The, the interaction, there's, it's non-edited from the first interaction he had with both the police officers. That's non-edited. It, it, it was edited. It was not. He's going around in places that are not accessible to the public. I heard calling 911. The one, the, one that I, the one okay. that I saw on YouTube. Was, yeah. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. going to debate it with you. Yeah, it seems like you're just, you know, trying to protect your blue line tyrant gang members over there and you're a disgrace just like uh, Manning and Noble are, man. You need to do better. You have yourself a nice day, sir. You too, man. You Believe it, uh, follow the Constitution, bud. All right, so you can see, guys, they're a disgrace. They, they hate transparency. They're just pieces of crap, man. And uh, they're all protecting each other. The video is edited, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I edit my videos too. I cut out the boring parts. No one wants to see all that crap. It's just, you know, nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, but the parts that are important were not edited, right? I mean, you can see the video, it's clear as day. So that is uh, Officer Knotts or Lieutenant Knotts, whatever it is, uh, Unit 104 is his badge number or unit number. So they're all a bunch of disgraces over there in Charlestown, man. And I'm just, it's sad. So again, guys, uh, make sure that you guys are doing this stuff too. So I've been doing this since before I had a channel. I make phone calls um, and I let them have it. That's how we affect change, right? Uh, we are uh, have the right to uh, petition our government for redress of grievances. That's what we're doing here. So that's why we disseminate this information for you guys. So I'll leave all of the information, all the phone numbers and stuff like that if you would like to call um, to redress your government. Yeah, nothing says redress your government like someone from Denver, Colorado, urging his followers to call and harass the city 1,300 miles away. Then I'll put that stuff in the description for you. Make sure you head on over to Tua Apri um, and subscribe to him. He's doing great work over there. He's bringing a bunch of comedy to it, and he's awesome, man. We like him. So that's it, guys. So uh, until next time, love and light. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time for me to say goodnight. Throw some beans on the fire, a little gin on ice, and as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. So good night, I bid you adieu.